sit back and relax. Welcome back to Hello Nigeria. I'm joined by one of my favorite vloggers ever. I like her style of delivery. I like the quality of her work. And I am such a huge fan of Yetunde Edunjobi, also known as OMG, one of the OMGs, one half <laughs> of the OMGs. Good to have you. Oh my God. Yesterday, 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 yesterday. <laughs> Olive, boy. Do your intro, your vlog <laughs> intro, all right? Oh my gosh, you're going to make me crazy. <laughs> I swear. My name is yesterday. Oh my God. Because like, it's just me and my camera, so when you're doing it in front of people, you just feel silly. I feel silly. <laughs> Speaking about you and your camera, Yetunde, you are a very, you are a very wonderful vlogger. Oh, thank and you. I know it wasn't always like that. I mean, we're talking about your content from way back. How, yeah. how did it all start for you? Oh my gosh. Um, so when I moved to Nigeria, I, I had said that, um, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm going to do a diary of my journey here and everything, and I'm going to film it. So I was just, I putting it off, putting it off. And then my friend was like, just get in, just do it. I want to see what you're doing out there. Let me just see what you're doing. Let's see what you're doing. And I just got my laptop and I filmed on my laptop. And that was the beginning, literally. I filmed the video. If you see my first video, I'm like, I cringe when I see it. I'm like, hi. Uh, um, I'm, hi, I'm Elisha today. And I'm just here. Like, it's literally ridiculous. But yeah, that's how I started. And you've progressed over time. Yeah, Little thank did God. you know that one day you are going to be making money off vlogging. Right, right. I never actually, I, I didn't actually know I could make money Funny enough, it sounds ridiculous because I've seen other vloggers, but I didn't think I, I would get to that point of making money. Actually, I didn't because I'd I'd been shooting stuff and just posting it. And my, it was my, when, I, when I met my husband, and he was like, "You know, you can make money from." It. I was like, "Really? How? How do I do that? Like, what do I need to do?" And he and he just showed me like how what I needed to do, and that was it, really. Now, would you say that vlogging is something that one has to have a passion for? Because we're seeing people these days saying that any means of making money. So somebody will hear you now saying that you make money from vlogging. I would say, hmm, another side yeah. horse too. I need to <laughs> one start vlogging. Is oh. it something that one needs to have a passion you for? Have to, I feel like you need it. You need it in order for you to, to keep you going because it's, it's a lot of work. People just say, ah, to me it's just, um, we're just filming just film on camera, just to put on camera now. I'm like, if it's so easy, go and do it and let me know how it goes. Because like, I, I didn't start making money until two, three years after I'd started. And it takes some time to build that um, traction and you need to be consistent. And I'm still trying to get to that point of con like consistency where it's like oh, people can expect videos from me at this certain time. How do you deal with being consistent? Because I've heard you before now, you know, back in the day saying, oh my God, I'm supposed to post on Monday. Oh, I couldn't make my deadline. Yeah. Tell us about the behind the scenes that we don't get oh to see. Oh my gosh, it's, it's a lot because sometimes um, internet is not agreeing with you or just something, is ha life happens. But, you know, because I, I've had to make it a priority of mine, it's work for me. So it's not just like, a, I, I enjoy vlogging, but at the same time, it's work. And it's a business and I have, I've had to take it as such as, okay, this is my business. I have to say, I'm going to film on these days and I'm going to put out my videos on these days because this is, this is important to me. This is my work. This is how I'm going to make my money. This is how I make my money. So I need to make sure that it's a priority. Okay, now let's talk about budding vloggers. Mm -hmm. You know, what would you say would be some of the challenges they should expect to face or those who are just new in the game? Internet. Internet, unfortunately, isn't as great as it could be. Um, in Nigeria, I think we're still, it's, it's going to take us some time, but we're getting there. And um, also just quality of um, your videos as well. You know, you can, you can film on your phone, you can film on using the camera, but it really is about the quality of your videos, how it looks, um, and also the quality of your, of your content. It's not just every, anything you can vlog. Sometimes, you know, some people can vlog a 40 minute vlog and it can work for them. You need to find what really works for you. Like, because you see somebody else vlogging a certain thing, and you, if you try to copycat off them, it might not necessarily work. You have to find what is your niche. And I find that the audience can always tell whether you're being genuine or not. And if they feel like you're not really being genuine, it might be, a hard, it might be quite hard to build that audience. Speaking of audience, how do you d deal with your audience? I mean, you are a very natural woman. You don't wear a lot of makeup. And I remember there was a time that some of your followers were attacking you, like, what are you feeling like? Why would you not wear makeup? Yeah. And you know, initially, like, it bothered me because I was like, you know, I'm just being myself. Like, what's the big deal? But then I had to just kind of just get over myself and be like, you know what? This is just, this is me. Like, I feel like wearing makeup today. Oh, I don't feel like wearing makeup. Take it or leave it. You don't have to follow me. Please, if it's, if it's, if it's offending you, unfollow me, I beg. Just like, whatever for me, I feel like whatever makes me comfortable sharing, that's what I share. 
if it makes me uncomfortable, I'm not going to share it. And if somebody is being negative, I usually just block them <laughs> or I ignore them, depending on how offensive they're being. Depends on the level. <laughs> you transition from being a baby girl vlogger that just returned from quote unquote the abroad. <laughs> so people don't think that the abroad is a word. No, we just the abroad is a slang in Nigeria. Oh. So being that vlogger that just returned from the UK. Mm. Um, being that single girl in Lagos looking for your husband. <laughs> okay, I'm just teasing. <laughs> but now you've gotten married and you have a baby. Yeah. How would you explain your vlogging journey through mm -hmm. all these processes? Um, so initially, I didn't take it seriously. I just saw it as something that well, I do. I wasn't really as comfortable with the other people knowing that I vlogged, if it makes sense. I just kind of just vlogged for myself. Like I said, it was, it was meant to be a diary of, so I could look back and be like, oh, I remember when I did this video. And then it was just, you know, I'd vlog every now and again. And then I have um, a good friend of mine, Mohammed, that used to help me to film. He was like, you know, you can do better. Let's, let's go out and film. So he would, he really encouraged me. And then... Um, mm, I need a Mohammed in my life. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and he said, that, that helped me to kind of, okay, let me, I can do this. And also, so my content changed as well. The things that I discussed, um, things that were um, priority then, you know, it changed obviously when I got, when I got engaged to when I got married. And, you know, so when I got married and my husband, he's also in the um, industry and entertainment and... Her husband is <laughs> Ima, oh my God, for those who do not know. I'm trying to get to already. Go on, and, um, yeah, so he basically, so he's, he's always, he's been doing it for years and he's, like he's he has he's very disciplined when it comes to that so that kind of i i feel like i it's rubbed off on me and it's it kind of helped me to be more like okay define what i want to do and you know and be a, and be more disciplined with what i'm doing and when i'm filming and all that stuff speaking about your husband you've evolved from just vlogging for yourself mm -hmm. and you now co-vlog yeah. with your husband Ima, oh my god yeah. and your vlog is D O M G. How did that all begin? <laughs> okay, so um, so I used to bring him on my channel at times, and you know we'd do a video together, and people would love it. They would just be like, "Oh my gosh, you know, please bring him on more. We love what he, you know, what you guys do together, and what you guys are talking about." And we're just, I'm just like, okay, you know. And it's so funny because one of my friends, one of our friends, Enel, she was like, "You know, you guys should do a video. You guys should do a vlog together, like start one." And when I, so I said, "I don't know about that. I don't know." And and Emmanuel, he he's like, "I've actually been thinking about that. I feel like we should do." Um, have a channel together and I'm just like should we it's not going to be a lot of work and eventually we decided like let's do it and we took the plunge and it's been really good like we've been doing it for about three four months and yeah three months like, only three, like about yeah three or four months and you already have the kind of traction that you have on your yeah, page and people seem to really enjoy you know we talk about the various things so many different things and uh, you know a lot of it is our experiences we share our experiences and you know we try to keep it as real as possible <laughs> and people seem to um react well with that so you have an i made the most amazing little girl <laughs> for me and My you know she, she has stolen all our hearts <laughs> a lot of us are her fans how did you decide i, I know that initially we we're keeping her away from the internet yeah how did you and your husband decide at what point to introduce her to the social media Do you know what i like for the for the most part i actually didn't <laughs> i actually wasn't going to put her on the internet at all. I think for the first, almost the first year, she wasn't, I didn't take put a picture out of her or anything. Um, I just felt like, you know, the internet is a scary place and this and that. But I felt in her character as well, she's very expressive and she likes performance and she's into music. So I, and you know, whenever you put the camera on her, she'd be like, oh, she, you know, she's ready for her close up. She's like, picture, <laughs> picture, picture. I'm like, okay, you know, this child is really not a shy type. So, <laughs> like, so I, I guess. It was just kind of a natural progression. And I, I guess I wanted to show her off because so, um, I'm very proud of her. Um, she's such a character and she's amazing. I just felt like, oh, okay, this is my baby. You guys can see my baby because as I share parts of my life, she's a big part of it as well. So, and you know, me and my husband, we're both on, on screen. So it would be nice. It's like, it, it, it was a no brainer. I had to be like, okay, this is our baby. This is and you've already her. started a segment with her. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. So we have like, so I read with her on um, our Wednesday segments and my husband, he we do alternate and he does music with her. So they, you know, they, they sing together and we read together. So yeah, that's how we, you know, we've, we've brought her into our channel that way. What would you say is the future of Year Today Vlogs? Well, where do you see your vlog? Where would you like to see your vlog? Oh, that's a good question. Um, I just wanted to, like for me, most importantly, and it might sound um, a bit cliche, but I just wanted to mean something to somebody. Like. I talk about, I share my experiences, not just because I like to talk, which I do, <laughs> I love to talk, but I also want people to be able to, I want it to resonate with people, I want people to feel encouraged, to go away and feel happy, if they felt a bit sad, to go away and to, to feel happy. I want um, 
there to be a mind shift in certain things that like, you know I talk about a lot about topics in Nigeria things that maybe just come to my mind or experiences that I've had whilst being here and sometimes I feel like it's not always brought to the forefront so I want to talk about as much things as we can no hold, um, no holds barred and just be able to allow people to think differently and l let them know it's okay to think differently. Before we let you go, in a few <laughs> seconds, did your accent ever prove a problem whilst you were vlogging for the Nigerian audience? Um, sometimes. I don't know why. Like, I had to do a video on it. I was just like, I beg you. Just like, this is my accent. Like, I, for me, I feel my, my accent is quite watered down anyway. I think. Oh, yes. It's I more watered down <laughs> than when you just came exactly. back. Exactly. So, so I, think, I, think like, I feel like I'm... You could understand what I'm saying. People say, you sound so shmish, shmish, I can't understand what you're saying. Speak Nigerian English or... And I'm like, please, I, I, I'm not even going to stress myself for anyone. Like, if you understand me, great, fantastic. If you don't, I'm sorry. There's, you can put um, subtitles <laughs> underneath. <laughs> underneath. But yeah, yeah. Most, for the most part, people understand what I'm saying and it's fine. What would you say to those that follow you and constantly show you and your husband love on social media? I really, really appreciate and love you guys, honestly, because... It's just awesome. Like when I meet some people and they just tell me that they love my ch like my channel, I'm like, really? What do you love about it? Can you can you <laughs> tell me? And it's like because I, I'm just so fascinated that people are so interested in watching us. And again, I really do appreciate that. I just think take out, take out the time, take out your data, and all this kind of stuff. I so mean, data is a big deal. In it's Nigeria. a big deal. <laughs> it's a big deal. So we, I really appreciate and. You know, I love them and I, and I do like um, the great interaction that we have. So it's, fun, it's, it's wonderful. It's oh, wonderful. thank you so much for joining us here <laughs> today. You. We've been joined by Yetunde Edunjabi, <laughs> vlogger um, on Yetunde Vlogs and co-vlogger on the OMGs. And today she shared her journey with us. And in case you're an aspiring vlogger, maybe that's one channel you should check out. How can people follow you on social media and check your work? Um, so all my social media is at Yetunde Vlogs. Um, Instagram, Twitter, and yeah, so at Yetunde the Vlogs and, and Facebook as well, at Yetunde Vlogs. All right, and this is where we draw the courting on today's show. Thank you so much for joining us. You can follow me on all social media platforms at Olive MOD. To enjoy more of this, our Ugonke videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.